Hello, my name is Mark Ellis from Stick and Rudder Studios, and today I want to take you through a short tutorial um, that will cover X keypad um, and Stream Deck devices. Uh, quick start. Um, the reason I'm doing this uh, video is uh, once we started adding support for the Stream Deck devices and uh, some of our users had started to create uh, Stream Deck configurations, uh, X keypad has really taken off in popularity. And what I'm finding is a lot of people are buying it and downloading one of these pre-configured configurations uh, and profiles that, that users have done. And they just want to really get up uh, and, and start running quickly with, uh, with X keypad. Um, and there's a fair number of tutorial videos that show you how to use X keypad and how to create your own configurations. But if all you really want to do is just load one that's already pre-done, um, this quick start uh, uh, tutorial is going to kind of walk you through that quickly um, and get you up and running. Um, it is not going to cover all of the things that you really should know uh, to modify those configurations or do your own. Uh, those you're still going to have to look at the other tutorial videos, but this at least will get you up and running fairly quickly. So what we're going to cover today is how to install the X keypad plugin into X plane. And if I can just uh, stop for a minute, there, there's actually four parts to this whole thing. There is the the X keypad plugin, which resides in the X keypad resources plugins folder. Then there is the X keypad Stream Deck plugin, and that is a plugin that we actually have to install into the Stream Deck software. Uh, then you have uh, Stream Deck profiles, and what these profiles are is they're actually uh, key layouts that uh, that users have done for uh, either like a Stream Deck XL or maybe a Stream Deck Plus, where they've actually laid out all the keys and they've maybe done some pages and some folders to make the layout be somewhat logical in the way you might fly the plane. And then the last part is the configuration that goes into the X keypad plugin in the X-Plane side that basically uh, interacts directly with X-Plane. And that, that's the thing that talks back and forth between the Stream Deck um, software and X-Plane. And when you press a particular pre-configured key in a Stream Deck profile, you know, what should happen when you press that key or what should happen when you rotate that dial, um, you know, on a Stream Deck. So that's what we're going to walk through and, um, and, and cover and, uh, you know, take that up. So without further ado, why don't we uh, dive right into uh, taking a look at how we do these installations. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, actually unzip the archive. So what I've done here is uh, I've downloaded the ViperJet um, uh, profiles and configurations that I did for the new Arabesque ViperJet uh, for X-Plane 12. And, and those, there's a bunch of these configurations. You can actually find them up on xplane.org. The X keypad user guide, as well as our website, has links to where these um you know, user created profiles are that people are sharing. The other thing I have down here is X keypad 1.5.2 beta 3. Now, um, most of the configurations you're going to use are probably going to work with uh, uh, X keypad 1.5.1, um, but I actually uh, am taking advantage of a couple of features that are in the 1.5.2 beta. So that's the one we're actually going to install and, uh, and use. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to unzip these, and I'm just going to use 7-zip and unzip them right here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we're going to go into this X keypad folder, and in here should be uh, the X keypad folder, and this is the plugin that we need to put into X-Plane. So we're just going to copy this. And then we're going to come over to X Plane 12, Resources, Plugins, and we're just going to paste this right here. Okay. Now, once we've done that, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to install the Stream Deck plugin. This is the piece of software that go that corresponds that goes kind of along with X Keypad that gets actually put into the. Um, Stream Deck uh, software that, that you've got running in your system. So within this X keypad folder here, if we double click on this and you come down here to this SD-plugin folder, here you're going to actually find 
the plugin. Double click it. I'm going to install it. And if it installs properly down here at the bottom, you should see this custom action here called X keypad and you can right click on it and it should show you the, the version X keypad 1.5.1. And that is the version of the plugin. At the moment, uh, the Stream Deck X keypad plugin version 1.5.1 happens to work perfectly fine with uh, the X keypad X plane plugin 1.5.2. Okay, so now we've got these installed. And you can see up here that I have two Stream Decks on my system. I have a Stream Deck Plus and a Stream Deck XL. And in a minute, we're going to actually take a look at the, the two different profiles. I, for this Viper Jet, I did a profile purely for the Stream Deck Plus, which actually is very nice. It uses the encoders. Uh, and then I did another profile for the Stream Deck XL. You could either use just the Plus one, you could use just the XL one, or you could actually use the two of them kind of together where you have some keys on the XL and then you use uh, the keys and mostly the encoders on the Stream Deck Plus. So you have a lot of choice in how you want to do this, but I, I did two profiles. And again, I think what's important to understand is what these profiles do is they simply determine uh, where the keys are going to be placed and what functions they're associated with. The actual smarts of what happens when a key is pressed is actually gets done by the uh, configuration, which we're going to show you in just a minute. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and install these profiles. So if I come back over here to my downloads directory, remember I unzipped this ViperJet 1.4 folder, and in here we're going to see that there are three files. This file here is a profile for the Stream Deck um, Plus. This guy here is a profile for the Stream Deck XL. And this JSON file is the configuration that we're going to actually install on the X-Plane side and the x keypad plugin. That's the last thing that we're going to end up doing. Okay? So the trick with this is the way these plugins work when you open them, they're going to load into whatever device you've got selected up here. So the well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Stream Deck Plus, and then I'm going to double-click on the Stream Deck Plus profile. Um, you can do it, you know, if I came over here and I double clicked on the Excel profile, it will load the keys that are in that Excel profile. But since the Excel profile has no encoders, you won't get the encoders. So it's, I know it's a little confusing, but, it, you know, basically you're trying to load the profile for the device that we've really got here. So to go back again, you select the one you want to load up here, and then you double click on the profile down here. And if I did that properly, you're going to see that it installed all of these pages, okay? And to give you kind of a sense of what's happening here, if I click on a particular uh, action like this encoder, down here is the function name. This function name has got to match a function name in this uh, JSON file that we're going to load over on the x side. And that's how the hookup gets done. It's done via this function name. And by the way, there's a whole other tutorial video just on the Stream Deck. It tells you all about the architecture, how this works, how to create your own, how to move them around. Um, but again, this is just a quick start. We're just trying to get you up and running, okay? Um, I'm also going to go ahead and load the Stream Deck XL one. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick my Stream Deck XL to make that my active device. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to double click on this. And sure enough, it loaded the ViperJet XL profile into my uh, Stream Deck XL, which has four pages. And again, if I click on something here, uh, you can't see it yet because we don't have it up and running, but we've got the landing gear, you know, uh, function here that's going to be on that particular key. Okay, now, there is one thing I want to tell you to do. There is a quirky behavior in the Stream Deck software that once you load these profiles, I've noticed that the Stream Deck software, it can get a little bit confused at times. And what I like to do is after loading a profile like this or importing it the way I did, I like to just shut down the Stream Deck software and restart it again. That seems to make sure that it's nice and clean and it's working. So the way you do that is you come down here into your, uh, your quick start bar. You'll see that I've got the little Stream Deck uh, icon here running. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to say quick. and that should shut it down. And then you can just look for it over here in your search thing, uh, just look for Stream Deck. And it should start it back up again. 
and you can quickly just make sure that your profiles are there. So there's the one for the XL. And there's the ViperJet profile for the Stream Deck Plus. So we're now in really good shape. We've got the, we basically got the X keypad plugin installed, and you could tell because you see the little X keypad logo here in these actions. We've got the two ViperJet profiles installed for the Stream Deck Plus and the Stream Deck XL. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start X Plane. We're going to get X keypad registered, uh, you know, with your key. And then we're going to actually import this JSON file, which is the configuration that we need to have that's going to drive all of this. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get X-Plane up and running here. I'm going to pick the uh, Viper Jet. We'll have it without the engine starting. Okay, so I have my Viper Jet loaded. Um, and let's just come up here and make sure that X-Keypad installed properly. Yep, you can see it here. I come up and I do About tells me I'm running 1.5.2 beta 3, not registered. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get X keypad registered. Come here, go to validate registration. I'm going to put in, copy and paste in my email address. And I'm going to blur this here so you can't see it because I don't want you to see my key. But I'm going to paste the key in and then I'm going to just go ahead and do a, a validate. And the key says that it that it's okay. All right, and just double check that again. X keypad about, and sure enough, it shows it's registered now. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring in that JSON file, which is the configuration for the Viper Jet, and just again to remember how this works. The profiles we loaded over in the Stream Deck side, they simply determine which keys and which dials are going to show up on what pages and how you kind of want the layout. And then if you remember correctly, I showed you that function name that, that's in the action on the Stream Deck side. Um, X keypad's going to look for that match, and this configuration we're going to load is going to determine what happens when it sees you press a key or turn a dial with that particular with a particular function name on it that all that definition is going to be in that JSON file so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to X keypad we're going to open the stream deck configuration editor okay and right now if I were to come over here to the definition list you can see I don't have any definitions in here it's empty so we're going to come up here we're going to do a file append now right now it's going through and trying to find all of the samples that are in the um, you know, that are in the basically the X-Plane 12 folder. I happen to have unzipped that Viper Jet folder over in my downloads area. So I actually have to come up here and change this. C colon slash users mark downloads. I spelled that right. Hit apply. And there, there they are. Okay, here is our Viper Jet that we installed, that we uh, unzipped. And this is the configuration file. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to hit open. Okay. And if everything worked all right, if I come over here and I look at my uh, my, my Stream Deck software, and also you'll, you see this on the hardware devices, you're going to notice that these all lit up now, right? They're, they've all got uh, things being, you know, shown on the, on the keys. And if I actually press something like the... Uh, you know, the autopilot key here, this that, this page, you can see that I've got everything in here. Like if I turn the heading knob, you know, it's going to turn. If I turn the IS knob, it's going to turn. Same if I come over here and look at the um, Stream Deck XL, you can see that everything's, you know, loaded up in here, you know, and it's all working. Okay. So what I want to show you next, though, is um, how you can find out what the keys do. Most of them are pretty intuitive you know, as I just showed you. But some of them um, have got special capabilities in them, like, for example, the starter switch on the Viper Jet. I actually made that work so that it works with a short press and a long press mode. So, you know, the long press is actually going to push the starter rocker switch, which I think we can see right here, if I get this out of the way. For those of you familiar with the... With the um, with the starter generator switch, 
you know, it works in such a way where, uh, and I'm going to actually press it on my, my Stream Deck right now, if I give it a long press, I've got it so that it puts it in starter mode, and then a short press will put it over into generator mode. A long press brings the rocker back. Okay, so different keys. Some of them I've doubled up on them where they're using short and long presses to do these special operations, okay? The main thing I want to tell you is, is the way you can find out what a key does is just operate it. Like an example, I adjusted that, and you'll notice that what it does up here is it immediately picks that particular key. And all you have to do is come over to the key comments, and you could read about what that works, how that works, and what it does. I could do the same thing as an example on, I'm going to turn that heading dial over here on the Stream Deck Plus, and you'll notice that what it did is it brought up the autopilot heading, you know, for the, the encoder on the Stream Deck Plus in that configuration. And I could just come in here and look at the multi-encoder comments, and it tells me how this works. You know, the first encoder adjusts the autopilot heading, a long dial press or a short tap um, on the LCD panel, you know, enables the autopilot heading mode. A long tap is going to sync uh, the heading, okay, to the current thing. And the second coder is used for uh, the OBS one dial, for like if you're trying to do an OBS bearing, you know, on the Garmin 530. So I'm not going to go through every key in this Viper Jet configuration. Um, most of them are pretty intuitive. They kind of make sense how they work. But if you don't know uh, what a key does or how, or how an encoder operates, simply open up the configuration editor for this, okay, and you, could, you can come in and you can take a look at it. Uh, last thing I want to do is once we've appended that, we do want to do a save so that uh, every time I load the Viper Jet, it'll automatically load this configuration, you know, again. So that's the quick start. I do encourage you, it's still worthwhile to go back and look at the other tutorial videos on how to actually do these configurations, how to move the keys around, and, and how basically the entire architecture works. But for those of you that are just very anxious to go and get going uh, because you bought X keypad because you saw your favorite plane, you know, one of the X keypad users did a really great looking profile for your favorite plane. You just want to get going with it. This tutorial will get you up and running, uh, you know, pretty quickly. So enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the um, forums and explain.org or on our Discord server. Thank you very much.